हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्वांटिटी थ्योरी ऑफ मनी कैम्ब्रिज कैश बैलेंस अप्रोच दिस अप्रोच इज डेवलप बाय कैम्ब्रिज इकोनॉमिस्ट लाइक Pigu and Marshall, and uh, this approach give more emphasis on store value function of money. This approach give more emphasis on store value function of money. Store value function of money means we can store money and spend in future. And according to Cambridge economists, people basically want to hold cash for transaction purpose and for any future emergency purpose. will understand this theory with the help of this equation md equal to kpy md is money demand p is price y is real national income md is money demand p is price y is real national income and p into y will become nominal income p into y will become nominal income and k is proportion of income that people want to hold as a cash k is proportion of income that people want to hold as a cash okay so md money demand is equal to k p y here we assume money supply is m here we assume money supply is m and according to this theory for equilibrium condition money supply must be equal to money demand so m is our money supply and md is our money demand and for equilibrium condition m is equal to md means money supply must be equal to money demand okay and as we know md is equal to kpy so we can put kpy in place of md now m money supply is equal to kpy we understand this theory with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have nominal income as we earlier discuss our nominal income is p into y where p is price and y is real and national income on y axis we have demand and supply of money this red one md m dash d is money demand curve this black one ms m dash s is money supply curve and here we assume our money supply is exogenously fixed by monetary authority initially we have equilibrium point at a where money supply is equal to money demand now suppose for any reason at given demand only money supply has increased as money supply increase money supply curve will move forward from ms to m dash s okay now we have excess money supply over money demand this excess money supply will increase the price of goods and services and our price will increase from p0 to p1 because of excess money supply and our nominal income will increase p0 y to p1 y okay and this price will increase until we reach at new equilibrium point at b where again money supply will be equal to money demand similar we can assume at initial equilibrium equilibrium point at a now at given money supply only money demand has decreased as money demand decrease money demand curve will move backward from md to m dash d okay again we have excess money supply because our money demand has decreased and this excess money supply again will increase the price from p0 to p1 and this price will increase until we reach at new equilibrium point at c where again money demand will equal to money supply okay this is all about uh, uh, quantity theory of money uh, cambridge cash balance approach i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care